so is the photographer on a wedding for anywhere. If I was to ask you, what is the hardest image to take? What is the image that most photographers forget or put very little credence on, and when they do take it, they don't take it right? It would boil down to this, the guy alone. What are some of the classic guy alone shots that we've seen? Let me show you. Just standing there. This is it. And then turn the other way. Or what about this one? Covering yourself up. Or the old world classic, Captain Morgan. There's so much more you can do with a guy than you could ever possibly imagine. But we need to understand one important thing about photographing a guy. What is it? Guys want to look cool. They want to look strong. They want to look powerful. They don't want to look happy and excited. So let's start with something that every situation has, a wall. Now in this case, it's a brick wall. So we're going to touch on lighting here a little bit because it's important, but I want to really concentrate on the pose. So we're going to bring Jared in. Jared, put your back up against the wall. Now cross your feet. Let's take a look. We got Jared here. Now when we look at Jared, we see one thing. We see just a guy standing here. Now how could we ruin it? Jared, turn your head this way a little bit, looking directly at the camera. You want to ruin a shot of the guy? Take a look. Smile. He looks like a complete and total tool because it's no longer like, it looks like a game show. Now, the key when posing a guy is to make sure that we have him standing up in an upright position, flat against the wall. In order to really achieve this pose properly, you need to have one thing. You need to understand lighting. So I'm putting him with a window right next to him, coming from his right, your left at home. Now, if I leave him the way he is, he's obviously split lit with his broad lighting side closer to you. So I want to put him in a basic pose. Notice how his cheek and everything opens up. See that there? Look here. Look at this eye in the cheek. Now watch underneath the eye, right in here. Okay. So now I'm standing him on the wall. He's standing straight up with his feet crossed. I'm taking a basic boring full length image, but look, he's kind of sitting back. So by doing that, his face looks fuller. So what I'm going to do is keep his body against the wall from the bottom down, his backside's on the wall. And then I pull him forward, tilting his head again to the low shoulder, eyes out, eyes up high. Take a look. So now this is our basic boring, full length image. Watch how easy it is to create three just by moving your camera. So he's looking at the camera, eyes there, tilting your head here, great light above the lens, bringing him up above the lens. Now by bringing him up above the lens, you got wide open eyes. Number two, bring your chin and look down, stretching out forward. Look at the chin. He's still in that same two thirds view. We have broad light hitting this cheek, broad light hitting here because his face is angled in. This side is short, which is closer to the camera, making him look thinner. Now, all I would do is I didn't move the camera at all. You can tell, just cropped a little differently. The last thing I would do is just step off to the side and find the profile image. So what I would do is just shoot with a profile like you don't realize it, but I'm going to move the camera right now to show you. Now take a look, eyes open, Jared. Perfect, beautiful profile lighting. What does that mean? Part one of light is hitting here. Part two is wrapping around the front and take a look shadowed. Just by moving the camera without moving his body, we created what? We created a third image. The next one, so the first two are full length images. The next one could be a profile or a full length, depending on your room. In this case, we're shooting the video through the stairs. We have it. The last one, we can create a fourth image from here. What is that fourth image? We would bring our camera back to center. We have our full lengths. All we're going to do now is Tim is going to do it for you at home is eyes up to the camera. We're just going to crop from Jared's left shoulder. We're going to make it a horizontal shot from the bust, which is perfect for your viewing screen, leaving all of this negative space right across there. You got four images, didn't you? It's all about understanding how to create something from nothing. If I've learned one thing over time, what I've learned is that every image I shoot, 
I want to be able to, every pose that is, I want to be able to create a minimum of three different images from that one shot based on whether just a slight little camera tilt, based on a slight crop adjustment, all of it. It's that simple. It's all in the way you crop and set things forward. Posing a guy isn't so hard. These are four that I showed you in a matter of seconds. I could do another 10 here, but we have that on our Grim Alone video. So I hope you enjoyed it.